As the island's issue on homelessness continues, what are agencies such as the Office of Homelessness Assistance and Poverty Prevention doing to curb it? Executive Director of OHAP, Robert St. Augustine, gave the rundown. We want to try to increase the awareness for what we do here at the OHAP office. So we've created the social media pages, Instagram, Facebook. Um, our, our number here is uh, 475-2081 if anybody wants to call, has questions about benefits or housing. Uh, we'll do what we can to refer uh, or take care of the problem in-house. And since OHAP shares an office with a new relief center that just opened up on the third floor of the Bank of Hawaii building in Agania, they also assist with other things to help those in need. That's what the relief center is made for, to make sure that they have their SNAP benefits, uh, Medicaid, food stamps, and then uh, the housing is like the biggest thing. When it comes to housing for the island's less fortunate, it's a challenge. This is mainly because the only shelter open right now is at mass capacity, and there's a waiting list for those who want to seek refuge there. It's at full capacity, and at that time there was a waiting list of 80 people. So it is, it's even way beyond, I think the capacity there is maybe 20 or 30 rooms, and so it's, it is a big waiting list over there. As for the second homeless shelter to open in the island's capital, it's still under renovations. We're still actually in the, the beginning points of the renovation. We are looking at the logistics for getting the materials here and then um, going through the bidding portion of, of getting the work started. Um, so that's going to start after the materials are received. We're actually securing the fence area right now. Um, so that'll be the first portion of the work to be done and then hopefully within the next month or two we start getting the materials and, and things to start getting the units ready. Renovations to be done include plumbing, the fixtures, kitchen areas, cabinets and flooring of the units. San Augustine says that he hopes that the renovations will be complete within six months. Daniel Perez reporting for KUAM News.